I really want to take this guy here. We've got uh, Dre from right here in Texas, uh, says that atheists told him that God is just a guess rather than a scientific theory. Uh, I believe we can help clear up that confusion. Dre, you're on Talk Heathen. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, how are you guys doing? I'm awesome, man. Oh, thank you. So expand a little bit on what you're saying. Like, What, what exactly is like the point of contention here? Um, so, so when I was having the discussion with um, the atheists, I believe it was in the, uh, it was in the comment section of one of the um, shorts. Mm. on this channel okay yeah um so so basically i was I, I i really wonder and we understand that there's there's concepts that theory is basically theory is the agreement that there's not going to be a concrete there's not going to be a concrete resolution to some things right no not really no it's not what what is what is theory so what so theory? in in common language like when you and i are just speaking like people um theory does mean like a guess or uh, something that we're not able to test like i have a theory about where my sock went in the dryer i have a theory about why my car won't start you know whatever like that but in science a theory is actually the highest level to which an idea can be elevated so a theory is a functional explanation for observed natural phenomena that's backed by all the best evidence that we have. It's something that's been tested and checked and, and critiqued and rigorously like, like gone over a million different times. It's got to be predictive. We can use this theory to make predictions on what's going to happen in the, in the world and in, in nature. Um, it's also got to have, you know, ev repeated experimentation from several different fields, several different lines of evidence all pointing to it. So a great example of a theory is gravity. Gravity is a theory. Um, your body being made of cells, that's a theory. Germs making you sick, that's a theory. The shape of the planet is a theory. Um, you know, we, 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 relativity is a theory. We can go on and on and on with these things. Um, my favorite theory is evolution. It's what I study for a living. And so this doesn't mean a guess. It means actually something that is like the best explanation we have backed by all the best evidence we have. If you think that you know, the crust of the earth is broken up into tectonic plates that move around and change the shape of the surface of the earth. That's called plate tectonic theory. That's my favorite. And theory. that's backed by a lot of evidence. And it's not just a guess. And so, like, when you say, you know, we're using the word theory to mean something that's kind of unresolved or something we're not really sure about. No. In, in common language, sure. But in science, when we're talking about things that are real, no. That, that you can pretty much usually replace the word theory with something that's true. Um, and also, just because inevitably we will get comments about this, theories and laws are completely different things. Laws, the theories don't become laws. Laws explain what's happening. Theories tell you why it's happening. So, like, for example, the law of gravity is F sub G equals negative G times M1, M2 divided by R squared. That's the, the, the force of gravity is equal to a set gravitational constant, which was derived by Newton a long time ago, multiplied by the mass of the two objects being experienced gravitational attraction, multiplied together, divided by the distance between those two objects squared. Um, I can plug any numbers into that and come up with an, uh, with an answer. I can figure out the gravity between the Earth and the Moon, the gravity between the Milky Way and Andromeda, the gravity between Sophia and I at this moment. I can calculate the gravitational force between any two objects by just plugging in numbers. The theory of gravity digs into general relativity, the bending of space-time to pull massive objects. Or, so, like, these are different things, and, and, and they all matter and so anyway i say that not to be pedantic but just because i know for sure we're gonna have people in the comments like no if a theory was true it becomes a law that's not how that works so yeah that's that's the long and short of it man that's why i'm sure this person told you that god is not a scientific theory because for god to be a theory um we'd have to have evidence and, and we don't have that okay so um so basically that was um, an extraordinary explanation. I think that's Thank sufficient you. for me, really. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Sorry to just dump on you like this. It's something we encounter quite no, a bit. No, no. Oh, wow. That was a very extraordinary explanation. So um, I, I'm from the, from the, the side of uh, somebody that is a theist. Like, what would you consider theology, the study of God? What, what would you consider that from... Um, uh, intellectual standpoint if it's yeah. so because I, I wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't consider anything that's anything that's studied intellectually a guest because there are so many yeah. schools that are there are sc schools that study theology yes very deeply yeah, so I've I, wouldn't, been to I wouldn't yeah i wouldn't consider it a guest though that's a little bit that sounds a little bit condescending do you so, get what I'm saying? i yeah. totally understand you go first yeah totally can i um when i was studying 
theology. I went to a Christian university. I loved theology. I loved doing biblical exegesis, any of that, like historical contextual criticism. Theology is not necessarily, I would say, the study of God. It's the study of how we speak about God, about religious texts. Um, I remember writing uh, like this eight-page paper offhand about three verses in Isaiah once. That's, you're studying theology, you're getting into the nitty-gritty of who actually wrote this, what did it mean at the time, what did people take it to mean, and how has that evolved over time? It's not a guess because we're not actually talking about God most of the time. You are talking about what you do have evidence for, which is how the culture around, you know, the culture, the authorship, things like that. So it would be condescending to say theologians are just guessing out of, in the wild. Some probably do, let's be real. But there are some that are, you know, incredibly rigorous in their research and are really thoughtful and don't make uh, claims that are wild and, and don't have any backing. But most of the time, uh, it's not really about God, you know? It's about history. Yeah, I, I was gonna say something very similar. I'm glad you brought that up, because like, I have some friends who are theologists, who, who are, I suppose you say theolo uh, theologians theologian or theologian. Usually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I have some friends who study theology, um, and like that's that's exactly right. Is they're they're studying the history of belief, the history of the language surrounding belief, the the history of the interpretations and translations of religious texts. It's they're they're basically anthropologists in this way. They're studying the history of this culture and and, and this phenomenon that we call religion. Um, so like. I can totally understand how you would say that, you know, calling God a guess or whatever like that would be, you know, a little bit condescending. And it kind of is. You're right. Um, but, like, I would argue that, like, theology can be theory-based and theology can have facts behind it and theology can be a, a scientific endeavor. But when we're talking about the actual belief in God, we're not talking about theology. We're talking about something very different. We're talking about personal belief. We're talking about religion. And so religion and theology are, are, are very much not the same thing. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely, absolutely, and that, that's that was a very that was very sufficient answer for me as well. So, and then I I just round off by what I'm saying with saying mm -hmm. that um I I understand like I watch this program a lot because I know when I'm listening to I'm listening to actual objective intellectual people speak. Sometimes. So me as a theist, I understand that my theism is faith based. It's not necessarily scientific based. It's not necessary mm -hmm. evidence. It's faith based. It's yeah. faith is the belief in things unseen. Yeah. So I, I really can't have evidence for my faith besides me just believing this thing very deeply. Yeah, it would go so, against what the Bible tells you to do if, if you had evidence for it. Because the Bible says you're supposed to believe like a child and not not seek out evidence. So like, yeah, mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, so 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 basically, you know, I feel like sometimes when not 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 speaking on you guys, not to speak on anyone necessarily on the channel, but I feel like someone sometimes when I speak to atheists, it's like they come from uh automatic like since I have since I do not believe in God, I am therefore better than you. No, I, I totally get that, <laughs> that man. And they believe they I should just and, so and I that, oh sorry. I'm sorry. I just for a long time, I didn't say I was an atheist because I just didn't want to be like those dicks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was I was very religious in my past. And I remember sitting at a dinner table after a sleepover with my friend's atheist parents. And they were just grilling me over what they, you know, all of the things that they had issues with religion about, some of which were valid, some of which I even look at now. And I'm like, that was actually just kind of a bizarre argument. Um, but it sucked so bad. <laughs> and I honestly, I fully get it. I think there's also an era of atheism, the the Bill Maher, where, where people like that were really at the fore, where being snarky and horrible was kind of how you, you got some, I don't know, atheist straight cred, I guess. So I would say, I think that's changing a little bit. I think that it's becoming more normal to be nice as an atheist. But I would say like, I both affirm and and validate that. And, and I want more atheists to hear like, yeah, I mean, it doesn't make you better. It means that you, you know, thought about something and decided what you believed based upon it. But you're not like a, a superior human because of that. Just like someone who's a believer is not a superior human because of what they believe either. Right. Yeah. That, that's the one thing is like, you know, atheism is one single position on one single question. Mm -hmm. Do you believe there's a God? And we say no. 
And in that, you have a tremendous diversity of people. You have, you know, uh, uh, Republicans and, and Democrats. You have uh, uh, capitalists and communists. You have all sorts of different people from all sorts of different backgrounds. Also, sort of the one thing you can say about us is that as atheists, we don't believe there's a God. And so, like, yeah, you're absolutely right. There's, there's going to be a lot of dicks out there that are going to be jerks about it. I've interacted with some of them before. They're, they, they're, a lot of times when someone is, like, a freshly minted atheist, when they're just, <laughs> just starting to deconstruct the religion, they're pissed because they feel like they've been lied to their whole lives and they want to go out there and rattle the walls and shake everybody by their shoulders and be like, this is all bullshit. And, like, it, you get people who are pretty insufferable sometimes. You know, there's, there's a joke that I heard from some religious friends a long time ago that, you know, how, do you, how can you tell that somebody's an atheist? Just wait, they'll tell you. And, like, there's this kind of thing that, like, it, it's somewhat of a trope. So, yeah, you're, you're going to experience that, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It sucks. It's the same thing. I could tell you about horrible experiences I've had with religious people who think they're better than me. We, we had a guy, I think it was the last time I was on AXP, who started the conversation by saying, I just want to let you guys know if you don't believe in God, your life is meaningless. And that's how <laughs> we started the conversation. So, like, that's just, man, that's just how people are. Um, but I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and to listen to us and, like, like call in and ask. Good, these are great questions you're asking right now. Um, like, that really matters. And as condescending as I know this will sound to you, um, <laughs> I really hope that this helps along the line. Maybe to maybe you'll question some of the things you believe in and ask, like, I know you just said, I know that my positions are faith based. Maybe ask yourself, would you use that same kind of thinking for anything else ever? And if not, why? And and maybe that'll be a thing. Maybe you'll call in someday with some some questions about like, okay, maybe maybe I wasn't believing the right things. Maybe we can pick it apart a little bit, have some fun, just like chipping away at your faith a little time, a little bit. I'm I'm willing I'm willing to do that. I'm very willing <laughs> to do that. Well, thank you, Dre. I really appreciate you calling in. You've been awesome. We're gonna move on to the next call, but please call back in anytime you want to ask about anything. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. Hey, take care, Dre. Have an awesome day. Everyone's been so nice. It's I, I'm crazy. <laughs> And just come at me, guys. Come on. Right. Anything. And it <laughs> may so change sweet. right now because we got a bunch ah! of other colors. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, this has been a phenomenal day. Phenomenal. Great conversation. These are wonderful. That's why I like Talk Heathen. Talk Heathen is usually a lot more chill. 